My grandma, I mean, she was the person that took care of me when I was little, I mean, all throughout my life. And I had made a promise to her right before she died, and I was to, you know, go to college, live out my dream, and was just playing the NFL. And like, when it was days I wanted to quit, I just always, you know, had to talk with my granny. And that motivated me to just keep going, just keep sticking with it. No matter how hard things get, just, just do it for her. I ain't gonna say the NFLs will be cakewalk. I mean, like each level is getting harder and harder and harder. So, I mean, I know I'm gonna get to a point where it's like, man, I don't know if I can do this no more. My body is tired, I'm over it. But I know, like she's looking at me. So that's, that's what keeps me going. So out of high school, I signed with Cal, Cal Berkeley. I mean, I was never too high on grades and stuff like that. So like, oh, I got my scholarship, I'm the man. So I just kind of wasn't going to class, just slacking in school. So when my senior year was over, I ended up being a non-qualifier. And I found out I'm not going to Cal because of my grades. That right there hit me pretty hard. You were a student first, athlete second. I was like, man, like, do I want to play football? I let my grandma down. I'm over this. I even applied to jobs like McDonald's, Taco Bell. Like I was like seriously like over football. Like I just thought about her when uh, things got rough and I was like, no, I'm gonna stick with it. From there, I went to community college, Contra Costa College, and I finished with about like 10 sacks, 18 tackles for a loss, led the States and ended up with about 30 offers. Somehow I ended up being a qualifier. NCAA made a mistake. It was a confusing process, but uh, we got that fixed. Signed with UCLA and I like I had a great career. I mean, all the people that said he can't do it, he won't make it with his grades at UCLA. Like he won't be able to do that. He won't be able to do this. Like just to prove the doubters wrong and you know just be able to live my dream, which is playing the NFL. The only thing that keeps me going is her right there. I mean, not too much can phase me. You know, I've been through a lot. Like even like, the death of my grandma and just a lot of other things growing up when I was little. Like I feel like even when I get to the hard point in the NFL, it won't be a problem for me because I've been through harder things in life. So all I gotta do is just, is just look at my tattoo and I think to my grandma, your wings were ready, but my heart was not. And then it got the, um, the date when she passed away. So, I mean, you gone, but I always, always miss you. And got some wings on my biceps, man. Pretty much because of her. It's a dream come true. I mean, just all that hard work and all that stress and tears is, is finally paying off. Tack McKinley, he's a great guy. Tacky, always wearing his hoodie on, start of the session. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet, but there's a beast inside of there. Yeah, we got our, some people that's more rah, 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 like, man, let's go, let's do this. I'm more just, I kind of lead by example. Just be quiet and just play. Tack's a little more quiet guy, laid back, uh, you know, has all the tools, you know, great athlete, comes to work with his hard hat on, very strong kid, explosive trying to be a better pass rusher every time he comes out here. To be honest, I don't know. I just always feel like I've been naturally fast. I mean, I ended up running track my junior year, senior year, probably about 230. I mean, I was also sort of the biggest guy out there. I made the state in the 100, 200. Finals came naturally for me. My goals for this NFL draft is to hit a 4-4. I mean, I know most people was like, nah, he's too big, he's too that. But I know what I'm capable of like 4-4 is manageable. He's always surprising the guys, whether it be on the 40, whether it be on the strength. Quiet animal, likes to work. He's got a bit of a ferocious side inside of him. You don't see it too often, but when you do, look out. The biggest battle, I'd say for me, is probably something that just brings out like a rage. I mean, I never was the type that like quarterbacks. I feel like at practice, like even in high school, like you can never touch them, like lead a quarterback alone. So we get game day and you get to just, just, just clean one off. It's just like, man, let's do it again. First thing first was to, you know, get my body right as far as like eating healthier. I know that really contributes to how long you'll be playing in the NFL. And I mean, your body is your money. If you're not putting the right things in your body, you're losing money. Well, we'll go to Philadelphia, we'll go to the draft and um, hopefully celebrate. I mean, first round, hopefully. You no, know, me, I, I might break down the tears, to be honest with you. I mean, I ain't gonna say I'm soft, but like, I'm a real emotional person. So, 
Like I said, just walking across that stage, everybody cheering for you, might be a little booze, I don't really care about that. I mean, it's just a dream come true. Even then, though, it's, it's not over. It's just the beginning. Like, hopefully I'm trying to play in the league for about 10 plus years. So, it's just the beginning for me. I feel like I know what I need to do and how I'm gonna get there, so I can't wait.